Hello guys, uh, and now we are with a Grandmaster John O'Hagan and we found him in Golden Tulip Pasha Tournament. Yes. Um, how are you O'Hagan? Very good. Very, Very good. good. Yes. yes. How did the organization go for you? Um, in this uh, Pasha tournament. Yeah, it was very good. Uh, yeah. I uh, flew from the U.S. out mm -hmm. here, of course, and I couldn't go to uh, the Merritt Park event mm -hmm. this year, okay. so I just came here for this one, mm -hmm. and it was very good. I arrived uh, Tuesday evening, and the play started with the warm-up event yeah. for the board on Wednesday, and then mm -hmm. Thursday and Friday, and mm -hmm. uh, here we are Sunday. Yeah. So it's been very good. So when when did you come to Cyprus? I came to uh, you mean to the Merritt Park? No, Cyprus. Oh, I, uh, well, I left the U.S. on Monday, arrived here Tuesday evening. Oh, Tuesday. Evening. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's great. So when you fly back to the U.S. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning yeah. So how did the tournament go for you? Well, I finished. Uh, I finished in the money. You know, okay. they they paid the top ten. Yeah. I finished eighth, I believe it was. Okay. Well done. Yeah. Uh, well yeah. done. Amazing and, uh, achievement between 190 players, 182. 182, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And lots of great players uh, joined yeah. this game as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. it's you know great achievement to go in top ten. So uh, yeah. so uh, how is how are things going in the USA about that game? I think USA that game is growing, growing. We're watching the videos in the USA as well. Uh, like, how do you see when you look at it over the last five, ten years, uh, modern background in the sector? Where is going? Like, you've got tons of uh, experiences uh, in this uh, sector. So, how do you see the modern background of the future comparing to old time? Well, that's a good question, and I don't know if I'm really qualified to answer it, uh, but I can tell you this, that uh, we need to start somehow getting more younger people involved, yeah. because, uh, at least in the U.S., and I think, well, looking at just at the crowd here and yeah. uh, at this tournament, there's a lot of gray-haired people, you know, yeah. and there's not that many young people. I mean, uh, Zdena Exiska is an exception. Yeah. Okay. And there's a uh, you know Ryan Rabello from Canada. Yeah. And there's a handful of young, you know, really strong players, mm -hmm. but not that many. So uh, I think the future is we need to do what we can to get more interest from the young people. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing modern back then? Yeah, I started around 1980. So, what is that, 40, 42 years? So, yeah. you know, from 40 years, over the 40 years, like, uh, I, I heard that uh, before 19, it was very popular, modern rock band. Then it dropped down, and polka and other games came in, and then uh, with the XG and, you know, uh, using the machine changed the sector a lot, and it's improving again uh, when you see over the 40 years like shortly i want to, i want to you know get your ideas so the viewers can uh, see as well like where where did it start in 1980s yeah. northern backgammon where did it go yeah and how do you project the future yeah. like is it going to get more popular is it going to get more prestigious like a chess you know um, because now skill is on the pot as well. Yeah. But before that time, I think skill cannot be measured. It could only be measured by the uh, grandmasters yeah. and expert opinions, right? Yeah, it was just uh, the opinions of the top players. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it turns out that, you know, they were right in some areas and they were wrong in others, mm -hmm. you know because there was no XG back then. Uh -huh. And uh, what was interesting is that when you would go to a tournament, mm -hmm. um, there would be players, say uh, an interesting position would come up in a match, mm -hmm. and they would then play it as what they call a prop, a proposition. Yeah. And uh, like one player might say, I like 
play A. Yeah. And another player says, no, I like play B. Yeah. And they play it out for a certain number of times for a certain yeah. amount of money. Yeah. And uh, that was... To find was, out the cor correct yeah. answer. Yeah. And, of course, the thing is that with the uh, a sample size of even 100 games, yeah. it's not always it's only... enough to really know what the right play is. But that's the way people would learn or try to learn. Mm -hmm. Whereas nowadays, when something difficult comes up, what do you do? You know, you put into XG and you find the answer. You know? yeah, yeah. So it's a big difference there. Uh, the quality of play, on average, the uh, average player is much better now than they were then. Okay. And back then, everybody played a more pure style. Okay. By more that I mean natural and natural style like. Well, what I mean like opening moves, 5-1, yeah. 4-1, uh, yeah. everybody would slot, yeah. almost yeah. everybody, yeah. Yeah. okay? Um, with 3-2, people played two checkers down from the mid, not mm -hmm. split. Yeah. Same thing with 5-2, okay? Yeah. So therefore, you would get a lot more sort of prime versus prime games, yeah. um, more back games, back games yeah. more ace point games. Mm -hmm than you do now. Yeah. So it's a, it's a different style. And uh, I think uh, XG has shown us what the right approach is. Yeah. Okay. And it, the sector, is it growing? Is it going to grow even more? This modern backgammon sector, the population, the economical side of it. Do you think uh, it can grow more in the future? Well, I don't know, I suppose. Uh, yeah, they could, it could, and uh, hopefully it will. Um, but we do have to be realistic. I mean, yeah. backgammon appeals to a certain, a certain groups of people. Yeah. But somebody who um, maybe is not interested in gambling or yeah. is not interested in you know, figuring out really complicated things like we do in the game of backhand, yeah. uh, they're just not going to be interesting. Yeah. You know? So you have to be realistic. There's, um, you know, uh, I, yeah, it's a good question. I mean, I'm just not really qualified to answer what the future will hold as far as backhand. Hopefully it'll be good. It's a great game. And, uh, you know, uh, hopefully it will. Okay, John Ryan, and final question before we close up. I'll ask, uh, Ms. Denis Riska asked, um, Turkish players put players and grandmasters in uh, this question, and also Sebastian Littleson. Do you change your game style against weak players? To a certain extent, yes. Um, if uh, how much do you make like big blunt if you see the guy is very weak yeah and in the tournament okay. it always comes in front of us, okay. you know 15 20 pr players yeah like do you accept to do uh, okay. 200 300 blunder in the game against a weak player probably not that much but well here's what i do okay mm -hmm. if the position is complicated yeah okay and I think technically it's a small no double. Yeah. I figure they'll make enough mistakes in it to turn it into a double. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's what I'm now. On the other hand, let's say that they double me yeah. in a complicated yeah. position, and that technically I think it's a small pass. Then it's probably a take because they're going to make enough mistakes to make up yeah. for it. Okay. All grandmasters are on the same level. Okay. Yeah. And then. Uh, on the other hand, if we're talking about simple positions, yeah. like just say a bear off race yeah, yeah, or yeah. a holding game, yeah. there, uh, let's say that the opponent doubles me, yeah. and technically I think it's a small take. Yeah. Since it's a uh, you know a real simple position, they'll yeah. play it just as well as I will, yeah. uh, so I might pass. Okay? Okay. And the same thing when I have the advantage. If I technically think it's a small double, I would just hold up. Okay, but uh, I don't make any huge adjustments. Yeah. But just on those cases yeah. I just mentioned, those yeah. are the ones that I do. And uh, you know, uh, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, uh, a, and also it's important to be uh, 
to be uh, correct in your evaluation of your game against the opponent. Yeah. Like uh, I mentioned uh, to some of my friends here, years ago in Monte Carlo, mm -hmm. there was an important match between two roughly evenly matched players. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it was a long match, and somewhere during the match, you know, one player doubled, the other one accepted, and then the player who owned the two cube turned the game around mm -hmm. and was thinking about redoubling, and he uh, decided not to redouble. And I knew both players, so after the match was over, I walked up to that player. I said, you remember that position while you were thinking about redoubling? He said, yeah. And he said, uh, so I said, well, you know, what were you thinking? He said, well, uh, yeah. I thought in a money game or against an even opponent, it was a definite redouble. But I thought I had a big edge on the opponent, so I didn't want a big swing in the match, so I didn't redouble. So, oh, okay. okay. And then I walked over later and talked to his opponent. Yes. Yeah. Asked him the same question. Do you remember that position? He said, yeah. yes. I said, well, you know, what were you thinking? And he said, well, I thought it was a take uh, in a money game, but I thought I had a big edge on the opponent. If he had redoubled, I would have passed. Okay. True story. <laughs> so it's important to try to be objective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, hi, yeah. Thanks a lot. Okay. It, it was You're welcome. Great uh, conversation. You know, having you here. Good. You are one of the superstars in backgammon and big history. Yeah. Uh, we are really happy to see you here. Yeah. And hopefully next year you come in again, I, right? I probably will. Yes. Okay. Probably will. Well, good luck uh, okay. with your rest of the matches. I don't know if you have any I, left. No, I think I'm all done because oh. they wouldn't let me in the last chance yes. once I cashed in the main. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, just kind of hanging out today. Okay. So. All right, then. Have a safe flight as well. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah? Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.